Hello everyone. I hope your new year in January are off to a great start and thanks for joining me here on this new episode of Political Peaks. Today on the show we take a look at the swearing in ceremony for the new city council members here in Park City that took place a little bit earlier this week. We learn more about Greg Hughes gubernatorial campaign announcement and we highlight the first candidate forum of the 2020 election year. Let's get right into it. Earlier this week on Tuesday evening, Park City swore in its three new city council members. Well, somewhat new. Incumbents Nan Worrell and Becca Gerber took the oath for the second time and newcomer Max Doyle took his first oath for public office. The ceremony was held at the Park City Library's community room and was kicked off by a speech from Mayor Andy Bierman. That was followed by a non-denominational blessing from Mary Krista Smith that touched on what it really takes to work for the community as a public servant. Doyle father, Jim, who is remembered fondly for his time as a Park City Council member during the early 1980s, also gave a speech to the three council members, praising Worrell and Gerber about the work they had accomplished during their previous tenure on council, and also challenged his son Max to continue that work well into the future. The three candidates also gave remarks, thanking their family, friends, and the Park City community for voting them into office and trusting the city council to deliver on their promises. The first city council meeting of 2020 took place on Thursday afternoon, where they also swore in new city manager Matt Dias. If you want to learn more about the new council members, I highly encourage you to go to our YouTube channel, Park City Television, and search Political Peaks. You can take a look at the interviews that I did with them back during the campaign season. As expected, former House Speaker Greg Hughes announced his bid for governor of the state earlier this week on Wednesday at an official campaign announcement at Dee's Automotive Garage in Salt Lake City. A deft choice in location for a candidate presenting himself as a, quote, fighter who loves to be told he can't accomplish something and a candidate of and for the people. Hughes was quoted in the Deseret News stating, quote, I'm in this garage because I feel like I'm the everyday guy. Hughes served for 16 years in the Utah House of Representatives, including two terms as Speaker of the House from 2015 to 2018. He was also a major player in the development of the state's Operation Rio Grande project that aimed to reduce crime in downtown Salt Lake City areas that are frequented by the homeless, as well as to provide them with many more services. Hughes began raising money for a campaign early last year and has collected over $470,000 to date, including $100,000 donations from prominent Utah Tons like Democrat Kem Gardner and Representative Mike Schultz of Hooper. If you want to learn more about Hughes or do a little bit more research about his campaign platform, head to his website, greghughes.com. Keeping with the 2020 gubernatorial race, the GOP candidates for governor appeared for the first candidate forum of the campaign season earlier this week on Thursday in St. George. Each of the candidates took the time to distinguish themselves from the rest of the pack, with Lieutenant Governor Cox calling himself the only candidate to support Utah's rural communities, and Provo businessman Jeff Birmingham highlighting his outsider status, stating that he will be the best candidate for the job because he is not a career politician. Topics discussed at the forum included preparing for future growth, the need for more women in business and government, as well as the contentious tax reform and more. With the addition of Greg Hughes, a total of seven GOP candidates are vying for the top spot in the state, including former Salt Lake City Council member Amy Winder Newton, Jason Christensen, former Governor John Huntsman, Utah GOP Chairman Thomas Wright, Spencer Cox, and Jeff Birmingham. We will continue to follow this race and update you with any relevant information. Thank you all very much for tuning in today. I really hope you enjoyed our coverage. As always, follow us on all of our social media at Park City TV and head to parkcity.tv for more great community content. I will see you all next time right here on Political Peaks.